everybody. Come on in. So glad you can make it to our nice apartment in sunny Los Angeles, California. We're going to give you a quick tour of where we live and hopefully it's not boring. So when you first come in, uh, this is pretty much it. This is uh, the living room and the kitchen and the dining room all, all in one. The main pieces we have in here is uh, our couch from Ikea, with our nice colored pop pillows. We also have a lovely nesting tables here, which is good because we like to eat here, watch TV. That's pretty much like the focal point of the room. Cool thing about this TV uh, is that I brought over these cool speakers made by Edifier. Uh, and they have like a really nice sound and we've got a super great camera and little dogs next to it. Probably one of my favorite parts about this room is the record player, which is really nice. And on top of this like side table, which is also from Ikea, uh, it's where we keep all of our records in this drawer. And then right above it, we have a print from this clothing line called Isla Bugly, which is my favorite. So you'll probably see them a lot. Also in the corner of this room, we have the skateboard. I got it from a cafe in New Orleans. And what's really cool about it um, is it's hand drawn on pencil. It's John Lennon. And there's only 250 of them in the world. And I think that's, you know, that's really cool to have. Next to the skateboard, we have this wooden shelf thingy on top of it, which, which is really nice. Um, it's this thing that my grandmother uh, knitted for us, which is for our road trip. So it has like our car and, and like all our stuff on it. And, across the states that we travel to. So it's kind of a nice little sentimental piece that we have. And then next to that, we got this plant. Uh, it's from the sill. I got it as a birthday present for Caitlin slash housewarming party when we moved in. You'll see the other plants later. And that's pretty much the living room. Something that we forgot to mention when you walk in, uh, what we do is like put down our keys in this little bowl. And that's where we use that. And then we have this little plant. His name is Spike. And on top of that, we have this cool thing that Caitlin decided to do, which I really love. I bought her flowers one time and she decided to put them in this bottle. I think it, it has a nice little artistic touch. We have a print from West Elm. Fun fact, this was actually the first thing that we bought for our apartment before we even moved, like months before. We have a bar cart, uh, which is from Ikea. It's pretty empty right now. Um, truthfully, most of the stuff that we buy is actually from the clearance section of Ralph's because they'll put stuff there for like $5.99 can't say no. So we decided like a little late in our road trip, but to collect shot glasses. So this one is from Minneapolis. We have this one from the Grand Canyon. We have this one from Vegas. And then we have this one from Vail, Colorado. Let me show you our makeshift kitchen table thing. This is where we never eat, but what we have on here is another one of those soda bottles with uh, the flowers that Caitlin decided to do, which is really cool. On the table, we got this uh, from Vegas as well at the Coke store and it's a little like diner style napkin holder. It gives it like a nice vintage old schooly diner vibe. Behind the kitchen table we have my studio uh, which is like the only place we could fit it but it's where I spend a lot of my time making music and, and editing stuff and just clean simple setup gets the job done. Above it uh, what's really cool is we have some maps from uh, Monterey, California. And the story behind those is my uh, grandparents sent us like a housewarming package. What was inside was all these brochures and maps and stuff from the 1960s. And they actually used to live in that part of California. And it's really cool that they saved them all those years and sent them over. And then that brings us to our kitchen. This is where we cook. Our favorite things to cook are probably pastas, any like Asian inspired dishes, uh, I'm trying to get good at steak, but it's kind of hard. I would love making breakfast. We have a waffle maker and like eggs, bacon, and anything like that. The only thing that we're kind of bummed about is our counter space. This is kind of all we have. Um, so it kind of makes it a little hard, but we get the job done. And that's all that matters. This is our prize espresso machine that we love. We like to make coffees a lot. So in our fridge, uh, something unique is that my parents actually got us a monthly hot sauce subscription. Um, and we're about three months in and we get two hot sauces a month. So it's really nice because we like hot sauce and we can mix it with pretty much everything. Another thing about our kitchen is Caitlin has this like weird obsession with like water bottles and stuff. Uh, so I'll show you our water bottles. 
this is all our water bottles. Uh, mainly, we're a hydro flask family, so this is Caitlin's custom made hydro flask. Ooh, ah, ooh, nice. Um, and then this is her old one. My job gave me two for free, so that's really nice. Thank you, Apple. She got this really cool one, which is made by a company called Lund. What we like to make our coffee in is Kinto, um, a brand that we both really love because it's very minimal. And then we have this one. Shout out Bumble, thanks for sending it to us. We have two, we love them. And then the last one here is made by Porter. So it's kind of like another like to-go mug and really clean, simple, plain, gets the job done. So Joel already showed you the first half of the apartment. Let me take you to the bedroom and the bathroom. Let's we'll start with the bathroom. This is our cute but tiny bathroom. Um, something cool about California bathrooms that we noticed when we were doing apartment tours was that there are windows. I mean, I'm sure there are windows in like other apartments, but it was kind of cool for us. One of the other plants that Joel got me when we moved in from the sill is our plant, Cynthia. Here she is. Uh, we pretty much decided that we wanted to put her in the bathroom only because uh, I believe this plant is good with steam and moisture. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been thriving. So you've seen enough of the bathroom. Let me go ahead and give you a tour of our bedroom. So while we do spend a lot of our time in the living room, I will say that the bedroom is probably one of my favorite parts of the apartment, pretty much just because it does have a lot of natural sunlight. With our design, well, we didn't really have any, so we just wanted to keep it pretty minimal and clean. I know Joel is a fan of kind of like the lighter woods, so I kind of just went along with it. But we do have the same nightstands, we do have different lamps. On my side of things, we have one that we got from Costco. It does have a wireless charger. It has multiple light functions. I won't get into that. I pretty much just keep my books here. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of glasses. So, Corey Parker obviously has my heart. I do wear glasses and that's where all of those go. I have my favorite perfume from Melon and Gets. It's dark rum, one of their most popular scents. I would highly recommend checking it out. I have a very, very tiny jewelry stand here. It's not much, but just kind of put a place where I can put my earrings, rings, things like that, simple. On our door, we do have this dream catcher that our friend Melissa gave us. Uh, her aunt and uncle handmade this, which has been super beautiful. It's big and bright and super nice looking. This corner would arguably be my favorite part just because it does have really nice natural light that hits the plant here that we got from Melrose Trading Post. And we do have this calendar. It has opposite colors every other month and it's just big, something kind of cool and different to kind of place here. Up here we do have this Ikea shelf that pretty much holds all of our Polaroid cameras, a few more books that I brought along with me, little knickknacks here and there, a rose. We also brought these wooden pieces from the Philippines. Um, there's two of them. Before we get to Joel's side, I'm gonna just give you a quick little tour of our closet. Something we also notice about California apartments are their closets are pretty spacious and forgiving. But I have a little light. Shoes at the bottom, clothes at the top. My side's, of course, a little bit more messy than Joel's. And this is his side here. We do share some pieces of clothing, which has been really nice. On Joel's side, he has a piece of artwork from his, one of his favorite photographers. A little note that I left him before work one day. His side is a little bit more clean than mine, which is totally justified. He has this speaker lamp from Ikea, wireless chargers, and one of his favorite colognes, Mistral. There's also this laundress collaboration with John Mayer uh, clothing spray that we have in the corner. Thanks for coming along on our apartment tour. Hope you liked what you saw. Hope you got some inspiration, anything like that. We're gonna go take a walk during the sunset. You guys, we're not gonna kick you out. You can stay here, so feel free, hang out, make yourself at home, enjoy yourself.